Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. First video of the new year 2020. Uh, a lot of people are asking me questions about Escape from Tarkov, a big boom right now with the Twitch drop. Uh, so I decided to make another uh, video about it, the new patch, point uh, 12. Uh, a lot of stuff changed inside of the game, so I will show you what to do. Uh, first of all, first thing I want to mention, don't use the intelligent standby list cleaner anymore. Uh, with uh, Microsoft kind of fixed the standby list for now. And if you're using the, um, the software, you can have some issue with some games like Battlefield 5. So just don't use it for now. Uh, another question that I received from a lot of people is how I can change my server list. So uh, yeah, here you can change your server by clicking here. You can use the filter and uh, make sure that you're using it by ping. Because uh, I, I was playing games and I didn't understand why I had like 100, uh, 100 120 ping. So uh, yeah, so for an example, if you live in, uh, East Coast of America, make sure that you're using those server. And uh, yeah, depending where you live in the world, you can select your server in your matching. So after that, let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, the first thing that you will need to uh, check is the auto ram cleaner. You want to make sure that you're using this one. Uh, it will make sure that you're not going over the number of RAM that you have on your computer and it will limit the game with the percentage of the RAM that it will use. I think if I remember correctly, it was 70%, something like that. So really important to use this one. A lot of people wa was asking me uh, about the physical core, use the only physical core. This is more like if you have a Ryzen processor from AMD, they're using SMT. Uh, so you want to click this one. And if you have an Intel processor and you have hyper trading, also you want to click this one. It will give you more FPS. Uh, so just check it out on the web if you have hyper trading or SMT. SMT is pretty much Ryzen processor, but for Intel, it's more complicated. Normally, if you have an i5, you don't have uh, HT, but if you have an i7, you will have it. But <laughs> the latest i7, I think the 9700K, you don't have hyper trading. So just make sure that you're uh, going on the web to, uh, to know if you have it or not. So if you have hyper trading or SMT for AMD, check this one. If you don't have it, uncheck it. Uh, after that, FOV, I'm just playing maximum FOV. Um, depending, some people like to play at 60. Me, I feel like the game is more uh, lean, clean. Uh, so 75 for me, it's good. At bobbing, put this one at 0.2. I really don't like this effect when I run. After that, graphic parameter. So, uh, in my previous guide in 2019, um, I put a lot of stuff to low, but now with the new patch, the point, uh, 12, you want to balance between your GPU and your CPU. Because uh, sometimes when you put some time, so, something at low, it will go on your CPU and you will lose FPS. And I did a couple of tests and honestly, I have a really good CPU. I have a Ryzen 9 3900X, uh, sorry. <laughs> um, and it's more about the engine, the way uh, it interpret like what you need to render and what it's shooting to your CPU and GPU. And I feel like even with the new patch, it's not great with CPU. So, um, yeah, so I will show you for me what is the best setting that you can use to have more FPS. So, first of all, your resolution, depending on your monitor, I'm playing full HD, but for sure, if you have more FPS, you can go lower than that. Uh, screen mode, really important to play full screen. I saw a lot of weird stuff at Borderless and Window, and I was losing FPS too. Uh, and the other one is the V-Sync. Don't play with V-Sync on. You don't want any input lag. For texture quality, normally with 3 gig and more, you should be good at I. 2 gig, medium, less than 2 gig, go with low. Shadow quality, this one. Normally, I was putting this one at low in the previous season. But not season, but last year with the previous patch. And now I did a couple of tests. And honestly, with I, first of all, the game is a lot, look a lot better. And also, uh, I was not losing any FPS, and I have more usage on my GPU. So, really important, this one, put this one at I. Object load quality, put this one at 2. Overall visibility, this one is really important, but it will impact a lot of your FPS, but it really depends on your computer. If you have, like, an entry-level or a mid-computer, go with something like 1,500 or even 1,000. But me, I'm playing 2,000 because a lot of maps now are very big, and I want to see further in front of me. Shadow visibility, this one really important, put this one at minimum, so 40. 
Uh, first of all, it will help you a lot, uh, uh, sorry, not a lot, a little bit with your FPS, but it's more about visibility. When you go too crazy with this one, all the dark spot in the map will be too dark and you will not see your enemy. Anti-aliasing, this is another one that I was saying, put this one at off. Now anti-aliasing is a lot better on Escape from Tarkov. I'm playing at TAA. First of all, the game will look a lot better. And also, I didn't lose any FPS if I compare with my uh, previous guide. So they did a good job. And again, it will go on your GPU. So you will have more space for your CPU. Resampling, I'm playing at 1x off. So for sure, you can go down for that. But you will see that the game look very, like, crappy. Uh, if you have, I don't know, a laptop with an integrated video card, maybe you should try this. But honestly, the down sampling is pretty uh, shitty. Don't use that. And super sampling, you will lose a lot of FPS. So just go with 1x off. For the rest of the graphic parameter, HBAO, SSR, any acerbic filtering, just go off, off, off. Remove the Z blur, chromatic aberration, noise, and grass shadow. Everything at off. You will you should gain a 8 to 10% boost in your FPS. And you will have a nice visibility. For sharpness, it will not change anything on your FPS. Honestly, something between 0.4 to 0.8 for me looks pretty nice. I'm using 0.7 now. Before, I was using 0.4. So, yeah, it's more uh, about your preference. So, just do your tests. And for the game limit FPS, I'm putting everything at max. But honestly, if you have like a 60 Hz screen, you can go at 60 uh, FPS if you want. Uh, you will render less FPS and your computer will uh, generate less heat. So that's about it about the graphic parameter, guys. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Uh, post me your rigs, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace!